Yo, yo, how's it going guys? It's an exciting new day here in the workshop. The new frame has finally arrived, so I thought I'd do a bit of an unboxing video. I'm super excited about this one and to share it with you guys, so let's get in there and take a look. One of my favorite things when new bike parts arrive, it's the free stickers. It's the little things. Really impressed at how well this is packaged, especially when ordering stuff from overseas as it can generally take a bit of a beating during transit. For those that don't know, this is one of Mash's latest frames. It's made in collaboration with Matt Reyes. Um, he's an epic fixed gear rider. Um, he's a true legend in the fixed gear world and massive inspiration to me, which is a big reason why I had to get my hands on one. They released two different colorways. Um, they released the phosphate smoke um, and this one here, which is the black and white crack. For size wise, I went for the medium. Um, it's got a 55.5 centimeter top tube and I'm 178 centimeters in height, so hopefully it's a good fit. The frame looks really good in person. I'd only seen photos online um, previously, so yeah, really stoked how it looks. And the nature of the cracked paint job means that all the frames are, are slightly different from each other, um, which is pretty sweet. It kind of looks like it's been zapped by lightning or something. It's, it's pretty crazy. And the orange really pops. So it comes with this little bag of components, which is really nice. And also what looks like the warranty card. So let's open it up and take a look. So we've got the mash seat post clamp. Um, looks really clean and it's got some nice details on it. Next up, we've got what looks like the headset. So this is like an integrated headset, um, which is the same you'd see on most BMXs. And lastly, we have the top cap and star nut, which again, um, looks really nice. And check this out. The postcard they sent is a photo of the inside of the mash shop. And it looks like there's the original prototype frame in it, all built up, pretty rad. So let's chuck the headset and fork in and, and see what it looks like. So let's check out a few of the frame details. Um, first off, I'll start with the ED coating. Um, as you can see here on the dropouts and inside the BB shell, the frame is fully coated with this tough paint coating, which I believe is really good at stopping internal rust um, and is supposedly super durable. Next up, we have these gussets. Um, there's one on the top tube, one on the down tube, and also one on the chain stays just behind the BB. Um, 
These are used to strengthen the frame in the major stress points, um, again like super common on BMX frames. And the tubing is Mesh's 4130 Chromo, um, it's heat treated double butted tubing. And next up we've got this really interesting looking like steel plate chainstay kind of join. I believe this is designed so you can use wide tires while still using track cranks with like a big ratio. Um, and mesh state you can fit I think up to 43 to 45C tires, um, which I'm really keen to test out. So moving on to the colorway, um, it might actually be quite hard to see, but you can actually feel the cracked paint kind of texture if you run your fingers over it. Um, and it's got this kind of matte finish, which is quite nice. Um, and it's also quite interesting how the cracks you can see kind of follow around the weld joins. I could honestly look at this paint job all day. I've never seen anything quite like it. It's awesome. So another thing to note is that the frame doesn't have any brake mounts. Um, interestingly, the frame set they released in Japan for Blue Lug has front and rear mounts for V-brakes, um, whereas this one doesn't directly from MASH. Um, however, looking at this fork, um, there is actually a drilled hole so you may be able to run like a long drop caliper brake. I'm not 100% sure it will work, um, but it will be interesting to find out. And that pretty much wraps it all up guys. I'm super excited to get this thing built up. I'm still planning out the build, so feel free to let me know what you guys think, or how I should build it up, or what parts you'd be keen to see. And also let me know what you think of the frame. I'll be keen to hear what you guys think. And again, thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Catch you all next time. Peace.